The frequency response of amplifying circuits is an important characteristic of the circuit. Ideally, the amplifier gain would be the same for all frequencies, but in practice that isn't entirely true. All electrical devices and circuits have inherent finite capacitance associated with them. Generally, this capacitance is small and has a relatively negligible effect over a wide range of frequencies. But at high frequencies, this capacitive impedance, the Z sub C is equal to 1 over J omega C, at high frequencies, this straight capacitive impedance tends to create a low impedance path to ground and reduces the gain at higher frequencies, giving it a low pass characteristic. So the internal, in, the inherent internal capacitance causes the frequency response to die off as frequencies get at, at higher frequencies. This is sometimes referred to as a single pole or a single time constant nature to the circuit. And it introduces a cutoff frequency much like a low-pass filter would introduce. Now, in addition to this inherent capacitance, amplifier circuits are frequently coupled to the rest of the circuit with a series capacitor that is intended to block any DC component that might be feeding through, whether coming a DC component that might be in a source, in the source signal, or coming from a previous stage. Uh, wherever that, whatever that DC component might be introduced by, a, a series capacitor is frequently introduced to block that DC capacitance so that um, the amplifier doesn't have to deal with that and we don't run into to, uh, saturation or clipping issues due to a DC offset. This DC blocking capa capacitor has the effect not only of removing the DC component in the signal, but it also reduces the amplifier gain at lower frequencies. And this, then, is reflected in a high-pass characteristic, blocking the DC, but also causing less gain or perhaps even some attenuation for a narrow range of lower frequencies. The combination of these two effects then gives rise to something of a band pass characteristic, albeit the pass band is a very wide band over hopefully a wide range of frequencies, certainly hopefully over the frequencies of interest in the signal that we're working with.